Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Good morning to colleagues and everyone else. Mr. Speaker, I stand to support the resolution which was moved by the Prime Minister and Member of Parliament for Castries East, building capacity and resilience in the health sector to respond to the coronavirus 2019 project. Mr. Speaker, the loan amounts to approximately 14 million EC dollars, and I want to spend a few moments just to explain to honorable members and to the people of St. Lucia why it's important to continue to invest in processes, in facilities, equipment, and so on to fight COVID-19, even though many people think that COVID-19, that the COVID-19 pandemic is over. We continue to have a number of COVID-19 cases in St. Lucia. Just recently, Mr. Speaker, you heard of the, the emergence of the subvariant on our shores, and therefore it's very, very important, not only for COVID-19, but also as we prepare to usher in a new era of universal health coverage, that we prepare our health system. The COVID-19 pandemic, Mr. Speaker, revealed deficiencies in the capacity of the country to respond to health sector-related challenges. Many problems, um, we knew of many problems in the health sector, Mr. Speaker, but COVID-19 forced us to take a second and a third look and to take a serious look at our health sector to ensure that we do much better in the future. Healthcare facilities, including dental clinics, Mr. Speaker, continue to be um, under serious pressure, overburdened, and require resources. There is an urgent need to upgrade the system to strategically po position the country to respond to present and emerging challenges, as the PM said, Mr. Speaker. We want to ensure as a government that we take on the responsibility of identifying and responding to the drivers of transmission, COVID-19 transmission, and to manage the post-COVID-19 transition um, era. Also, Mr. Speaker, this funding will assist the government of St. Lucia to ensure that we, we position the system to meet our current needs and to face future challenges. This funding also, Mr. Speaker, will entail the replacement of non-functional ambulances and other non-functional equipment, which will enhance the availability of the services, allowing persons who are affected by COVID-19 and other conditions to receive the necessary care with urgency and efficiency. Mr. Speaker, the loan financing will, will also ensure the facilities are fit for purpose, equipped with modern equipment, infection prevention control protocols, as, as the PM said, and we are working on, on processes which will continue to integrate the COVID-19 uh, prevention measures throughout the healthcare system at our, at our health centers and so on. It will also help to boost the national lab with equipment, with personnel. It will assist us to do more dental outreach. So we are hoping, Mr. Speaker, to purchase a mobile dental unit which will move around the, the length and breadth of St. Lucia to assist. It will also provide support to the Grosley Polyclinic, the dental unit, and the La Clary Dental Unit to assist with meeting COVID-19 operational standards and general guidelines. This funding, very importantly, Mr. Speaker, will help our psychosocial program and also psychological support. And PM mentioned the fact that COVID-19 impacted us not just with unfortunate deaths and tragedy and so on, but also the country, we are still going through a lot of psychological um, impacts of COVID-19, which we must deal with. It will also help with some much needed financing for the respiratory hospital. This will in, in include improvements to the plumbing, the hot water system, the laundry area, drainage for the kitchen, the laundry area, and maintenance, maintenance works to the radiology department, among other things. And Mr. Speaker, we are preparing to launch our urban polyclinic at the, the Victoria Hospital site, and all of these improvements will, will clearly assist. So, Mr. Speaker, Bomatea Nuvini Akai Isia, 
pour prêter l'argent, 14 millions de dollars, avec c'est pour Covid. En chaque monde quoi, Monsieur Speaker, ça fait Covid là, ça fini. Mais ça fait Covid là, qui affecte en chaque monde cette liste toujours. Là nous tenir Covid 19 là, nous voyons qui système santé nous, là nous avons chaque difficulté en système santé nous, avec les Covid vini, il faut nous pour garder système santé nous. Et pour qui ça nous ni pour manger vitement parce que la peine en lot Covid qui vini. La pays a l'autre épidémie, a l'autre pandémie qu'on nous a dit en anglais. Quand ça explique que l'agence a l'air aidé nous, nous avons gagné un jeu ambulance, pas un jeu, mais un ambulance neuf. Nous avons aussi l'année à HIC Health Center qui est un dentiste. Mais ces dentistes n'ont pas d'équipement, ces dentistes n'ont pas bon assez. Avec nous aussi, nous avons gagné une machine pour mener ces dentistes là au lieu de payer cette liste pour aider à faire nous avons dental unit. En chaque monde qui a fait dentiste avec dents ou avec bouche, qui se bagaille, ça n'a pas important. Mais si vous ne pouvez pas bouche avec dents, ça, ça, ça aussi fait ou plus malade et ça, ça fait le système pas bon assez. Comme ça, là, je ça là, 14 millions de dollars. Nous avons venu ici à, pour prêter l'argent ça là. Comme ça, nous avons fait le système là, plus solide. Nous avons mangé à des équipements Victoria l'hôpital. Glochoa, système Glochoa. Là, il y a un problème là. Avec nous, nous avons un service, nous avons créé une urban polyclinique. Nous avons mené ce service là qui est en Castilla, en, en Victoria, l'hôpital. Avec Adel l'hôpital là, Millennium Heights Medical Complex qui est servi. Comme ça, nous ne pouvons pas gérer pour assurer que nous préparons qu'on nous plie bien pour si nous n'y avons l'autre pandémie COVID. Avec pour faire le système de santé nous plus solide. Comme ça, M. Speaker, je vais supporter le Premier ministre là, pour prêter 14 millions de dollars ici, l'argent nous, pour faire toutes ces improvements là en système santé. Merci, M. Speaker.